Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? It's Wednesday night. Wait, no, no, I'm sorry. It's Thursday night. I completely have my week off already. It has the time has gone by too quickly for this week. But for tonight, I decided, you know, we played F Zero. Primarily did races I was actually able to do barely, but still able to do. And I thought, why not show not the story, unfortunately, but still a part of the game that would just be just as difficult. Of course, I'm talking about the expert races, and I'd like to at least get uh, ex or the master races. I'd like to get expert on diamond as well, which you can definitely see, or you're going to see, how ridiculous, ridiculous uh, the game actually becomes. So, I just boot it up, and we can get started. There is actually a couple things I want to show first. And that's actually... Uh, has to do with the custom maker. And I'll tell you right now, I am terrible at making custom... Uh, vehicles for this game. Ignore the uh, sign that says it's copyright protected. Like, it literally is just switching over to... Uh... That's the Razor Ripsaw. I don't know why it does that, but it's actually interesting the way it does it. But, in either case though, what I wanted to show here was the garage. So I bought every part I can currently buy. If you actually want to buy more pieces to build better ships, uh, you can actually, you need to actually beat the game, the story mode, on hard mode. Now that's incredible, that's an incredibly difficult challenge. To actually do, and I probably spent, back when I was a lot younger and this game was new, way too much time trying to go through any of the missions on hard. They're doable, but they're really, really difficult. But one other thing I actually just recently learned is apparently, you know, so whenever you make a custom machine in this game, you put basically three parts together. A body, a cockpit, and a, a booster. And normally you would get something like this, the Fox, uh, Frost Lynx GX or the NG Wolf here, for example. Basically, it just takes the names of all the pieces, put them together, and boom. You know, they just convert themselves into a name. But I also learned, thanks to Game Facts, and I really like... I'll be honest, I'm more the person who actually likes Game Facts, or the way people actually made uh, guides and stuff through using Game Facts, than I do using wiki, uh, like wikis. And I think that's partially because... It's just one, even though it's one, usually like one or two people making the guide, um, compared to a crowdfunded effort with a wiki, there's a, I usually see the one person actually put in a lot more effort than it being a collaborative effort. Never mind the fact if someone, uh, wants to enforce their own opinion as fact. And then out of the blue, you end up with, uh, End of the blue, you end up having, like, a lot of very valuable content lost because someone wanted to push something. So you can actually make up, if you actually combine the right elements, you actually end up with great names here, like Dragoon. You know, it's actually, it's honestly really interesting. This machine I'm not going to use because, oh my goodness, it flies and it spins out of control for me way too quickly. I'm way too used to Little Wyvern uh, when it comes to the actual racing of this game, which is what I'm going to continue to be using. That is not changing at all, I can tell you that right now. So, like I said, one to Grand Prix, one to Expert, and I can show you basically, let, let's pick off from where younger me failed all those years ago. Because these races are difficult. I think part of me was I always fell off the track now that I think about it. Actually, gonna decrease. Communities acclaim spreads. Thank you very much, Omaki Otaku, for the host. Always appreciate it. What I'm gonna do here? I'm actually gonna reduce my uh, my max speed here. The little wyvern's really good. Um, is a really good uh, all-rounder vehicle. So usually, actually, probably want to try and play the strengths of it being a well-rounded vehicle. How are you doing tonight, though? How is your How is your night going? As you can see, there's already no borders on this race at all. If you're a huge fan of Tom Fox, you probably have already seen this course. But man, it gets it only gets more brutal from here. I 
And the deaths have already to toiling up here. That's actually probably what got me into trouble, was I probably threw myself off the cliff going for kills. Just because I want the extra lives. I might want to increase my... Never mind. I think actually it might be fine. I'm not paying attention to this track. I'm already in a spell of bloodlust and wanting to drive races off the road. I only killed two people, and there's already five people out of this race. That should tell you what kind of race this actually is. This kind of race and uh, cup it's actually going to be. Never mind the fact that things can get really bad. One really cool thing about that, the little wyvern's actually really good at flying in the air. Sorry, this might take a little more concentration than normal for me. I'm used to playing, uh, more relaxed games, I can just quickly glance at the chat. But this is not one of those races. Thankfully, this is one of those races that also give you plenty of energy. So you can do, like, your dash Z attack. Do something like this. Ah, damn it. Uh, maybe not that. Oh, I'm surprised he's boosting. Oh, now I see why he's boosting. I should also say that this is a part of the game where people really start to get aggressive. They can end up with a lot of racers just flying off this track. And at the same time, this is where they really start to go fast. It'd be a super sensitive controls. I also love how you can uh, boost. There we go, and we got an extra life. Oh, damn it. Well, at least we got the extra life. <laughs> We may not have lost, we may not have gained anything, but we certainly did not lose anything. Ah, damn it. There we go. Oh, someone else tried to go offensive here. Goro always loves doing that, uh, doing the Z-spin. He always loves doing that Z spin and always I always get I always get suckered by that. It really actually doesn't take much to take out any of the racers here. God damn it, everyone hit the booster but me. Like I said, I think the best way to take out racers is probably always in the first lap, and then you should probably focus more on your own race. But if you can, why not actually hurt as many races as possible? Ah, come on, there we go. Give me that extra life. I'm trying to remember, how, like, what was my biggest amount of uh, takedowns in this game? I really actually can't remember. It would be cool if I could. Right now, I can't. Go, yeah, take care of you. I'm a, I'm a ruthless racer. Bye, Captain Falcon. Bye, Captain Falcon. It was nice knowing you. And everyone's starting to boost up like crazy. It's like the sign. All right, he's boosted. Everyone else must start boosting. Ah, darn it. Give me that one moment like that. I'm trying to remember. It's like, why could I never beat this? Aside from my bloodlust. Like, it'd have to be, like, a specific course I just kept falling off or getting destroyed at. Have to be one of those two. 
Out of that or poor, uh, poor energy management. That is also a possibility. Definitely also see... Just... Oh, he was hurting! <gasps> yep, okay, no, no, now I know why. I kept on falling off the map. <laughs> The funny part is, a lot of the custom build racers, they give you such better control than any of the default F-Zero racers. Something like that could happen, actually. He attacked me. Starting to remember why. <laughs> Starting to remember why I couldn't do this. The enemy gets just as bloodthirsty as you. To save themselves. People already fell off the track. I think the worst part is we were already down to like 10 racers. Like half of our roster was, or was out in that one race. And I fell off. I shouldn't have fallen off. Doesn't matter if you're getting shield energy, you just get bopped. Bopped like the rest of them. Oh, this is gonna be risky. It's Gor Samurai Goro. He's terrible. But how are you guys doing tonight? What games have you guys been playing? What are you doing for your entertainment? Trying to get back that life I lost. I think it's funny, though, with uh, Little Wyvern, you really have to put your, uh... You really have to give it your all! I had a feeling I should have hit the break. <laughs> this is the bumper cars I love, ladies and gentlemen. This is the bumper cars I love. I'd let you know, I'm curious, actually, for other people who actually own this game, or play it. Am I the, like, am I more ruthless when it comes to knocking out people than average, or am I just on par? I'm honestly curious. Gara has better top speed than I do, unfortunately. It's actually the same. How the hell did you live? I'm honestly curious. Oh! Bollocks! <laughs> I think I might just quit. Actually, I should just quit. Hang on, I gotta restart this. As fun as it would be to actually go through it, I wouldn't want to go through this without, um... Without one life. Like, this is honestly where I have the most trouble, is courses that don't have any borders. Primarily because... Every time there's no borders, like, if you've ever played the story mode for F-Zero, so... Minor spoilers. One of the final races you do, there's no borders. And you have to beat the race, and you have to actually... The objective is to actually beat the other racer. And that makes it very difficult. I got greedy. I... This is gonna be a problem with me. I'm terrible at this. This is why I'm terrible at this game. I get greedy. Beat someone based on your own skill? Nah, that's for suckers. Why don't we just take out everyone who you're playing against? Just throw myself off the edge. Ooh, that hurt. I have, like, your twitch reflexes. Terrible, terrible twitch reflexes. Cause I could, you could just throw yourself off this course at any second, and that's what makes it so bad. It's not even a bad course. It's actually an easy course. At least to me, it's an easy course. I know I've been failing, but it's honestly part of the deal. I'm actually surprised nobody's been falling off. Oh. Ooh, that's the other worry part is sliding. 
You know, that's a mechanic I haven't really figured out yet. I think it has to do, like, if you're a lighter weight vehicle, you're more than likely to slide. Probably say, like, this is one of the games where, uh... Like, if you're bigger, cornering is actually more of a problem. But... If you're a lighter weight vehicle, you're likely to slide and take everything a lot sharper. And when I say sharper, I mean like 90 degrees sharp. Oh, right. Uh, booster. Boosting would be, would be advisable here. <sighs> really? If I believe he actually lived. Oh, you dirty. That type of sliding is what kills you. If I actually headed to the right, I might have been able to stay on the track. I kind of wish you could actually make your vehicles fly in this game. It would be kind of cool, honestly. There goes Leon. Be raking the kills. Ah, uh, that was the wrong direction. Always difficult. Like, I'm sure there actually is a better racer or a better vehicle out there for me. Probably a custom made. But I don't have the parts I want, though. What do I keep missing? Let me get my life back up. Aw, boo! I miss that. I think the other downside is I don't play, like, top speed. There we go. That's my extra life. See if I can actually keep it. I think, yeah, part of it is I usually, I'm losing control too quickly. Not used to moving at this speed anymore. Have you ever that happened before? You like you used to play a game that used to be extremely high speed, but then you just end up slowly, you know, not being able to keep up. Like another example, like if for all those people who used to play Super Smash Brothers, uh, Melee specifically, like there was a time where like it used to be good with Fox. Maybe not, obviously, you know, not at the level of say, uh, you know, all those competitive people. But just think of, like, you know, between your friends, you always had that one person who was really fast with Fox. They had no problem controlling Fox. Actually didn't take out anyone. Ooh. And then for some reason, you know, slowly down the line, you end up just kind of losing control. Ooh, that was really bad. Come on, I was, I wasn't even press. I wasn't even pressing a direction. Something tells me my controllers, my old wave birds, <laughs> kind of old. I'm actually curious about that, like a true neutral stance. Okay. Did that not take out anyone? I don't know how I didn't get Captain Falcon on that one. It's like there was just one day I just wasn't able to keep up anymore with the uh, speed of Fox, like reaction times and everything. Never mind actually just simply following uh, Captain Falcon. 
missing? Like that, that's what I keep missing. I think I do need to stop, try and stop going for, uh, kills. But it's just so much fun! That was the final lap, too, we were on. The heck's in first? Of course, Black Shadow's in first. Man, I know there's always someone that's going to replace them, but still. Ooh. There we go, got the extra life back. Didn't do that before. My speed just got... <gasps> Ooh, Black Shadow really wants me dead. My sword is Goro. Are fighting for it. And here's the part where I always fall off and I am getting bumped. Nope. Focus on racing. Don't worry about taking out the competition in the next race. What I need to do. Oh, that's what really sucks about expert, and that's the way to black. That's the way to black shadow. He's a jerk. Try and kill him. There we go. I was wondering why I wasn't able to take that. Uh, take out that eraser in a second. I need to take him out as quickly as possible. I was so close, but he did his the damn this the spin attack. And that just throws you off the course. Launches you. That was only four? Ooh, almost lost control there. There we go. Oh, come on! I wanted to go to the right lane. I love how I spent 26 minutes on a race that should only take about... about three minutes. It's a very good thing. This is I, I, I am Racing Pro. Yeah, you really lose a lot of control if you do this, uh, the spin attack. I find it's best if you rush you use it to ram someone. Let's go. Come on, Beast Man. Wait, no, you're not Beast- <gasps> Beast Man! What a jerk. What a jerk!
stand right next to me, I'm gonna kill you. You're tired. Tired, I say. We're all retiring. This room exists for a reason. It does? I wonder what you do in this room. I would hope we'd have a conversation. How you doing, Golden Epsilon? You a fan of F-Zero GX as well? If so, what is your favorite racer? I'm playing mine. I like James McLeod. Fahrenheit. Hang on a second. John says hi from the depths of Skullwoods. How's it going? Fahrenheit. I watch LPs. That's a very accurate username. Nivalis the Curious. Time Stalker, Kion, how you doing guys? How are you doing tonight? Just playing a little F-Zero GX here. Word of our community's acclaim spreads. There we go. Wayne June having a wonderful narrative uh, narration voice here. So for those of you who never heard of me, I enjoy playing... Overall this year I actually focused on trying to beat RPGs this year. Try to be one RPG a month. This month was for the month of March. It was Final Fantasy 15. Next month, I believe I'm probably gonna do Xanadu next, unless I actually come with an uh, a uh, another game that kind of screams out like you must play this as much as soon as possible. But for now, though, since we've beaten the game, well, beaten the game, we're retiring. <laughs> I think a lot of well, honestly, the delay was it the delay for the raid is 60 seconds. So, by the time you actually raid someone, it makes sense. Jody's winning. No. No, she can't win. Right now, I'm having trouble with Black... Taking out, taking out Black Shadow. Actually, I'm having a problem surviving. That's what I'm really having trouble on here. Never mind the fact I should just making sure I don't get bumped off. It's actually my problem right now, because I can't even get past the first race. Damn it. One little second. I'm ba I only have one life left right now. This is the first race. This is how terrible I've done. But, for those of you wondering, so occasionally, though, I'll do things like Game Archive, which is more or less kind of my way to, you know, relax from, uh, uh, after streaming, like, a game I've beaten. And I've seen Tom and, uh, Tom Fox and Proton John, ooh, uh, play F-Zero games. I'm like, you know what, I really like it. And I actually do have F-Zero GX. And I do have this capture card that I'm not using, so why not use it? But this is actually the Diamond Cup. This is actually the hardest, uh, the hardest of the cups in terms of tracks. As you can see, there's not really a, uh, no, not really borders or anything like that. You kind of just fall if you screw up, which I have been doing a lot, failing a lot, and it's very easy. To... It's very easy for something like that to happen. And now it looks like Mrs. Arrow is in the lead. See if we could change. Actually, I need to take out. I know who exactly I need to take out. Because he took me out earlier today. There's a black shadow. Because the problem, though, a little wyvern, if things go too fast, it's very easy for you to kind of spin out and lose control. But this is actually, if you've never played F-Zero GX, I would honestly recommend this is actually a really good game to play. And particularly the reason why it's actually a really great game to play. So, if you ever played Mario Kart, you know, you pretty much have to get first all the time. If you even want a chance, you know, a snowball's chance of actually winning a cup. Not so in F-Zero. In F-Zero, you could literally get 15th place in a race, and it wouldn't be a problem. Not a single problem at all. Because the one thing you can do, if you've seen, if you've been watching a little bit, the skulls I have. I actually can't believe I actually got that. The skulls I have actually are, uh, are the races I've retired uh, from the race. So I've knocked them off course, and they're not going to get any points at all, as long as I complete the race. Now, I do have three lives, so if I obviously run out of lives, it's game over, and i got to start from the very beginning. But you can actually effectively, you know, you don't have to be the best racer to actually win. 
So if you're watching me last night, I think I probably knocked out maybe like 75 players total in that stream alone. I mean, obviously, if you can get first, hey, it helps. But you don't need to. Really like to not fall off, though. The hard part, though, is how... I'm gonna see if this is a sprint now. Second place, finally. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Flip, you found out GameStop for 20 bucks. Might pick it up if you have any extra money. Yeah, I know, dude. I love James McLeod. Like, I... I remember trying to find... I know they don't give you many machines to start out with and stuff, but that was actually one of the ones I bought. Not simply because it's like, oh, Star Fox. He is the parody. You did better than me in the last race? Die. Yeah, exactly. That is exactly the right uh, mindset. Golden Epsilon. The risk reward of the booster is great. Yeah, Den Findlay. I don't think Jody, honestly, no offense to Jody, it's she's very rare. I rarely see Jody up in like the top six. The other reason the shove, much more. No, spinning, spinning's good if you actually uh, have, if you use your booster. Booster combined with spinning is actually really good. That's what's really good. My problem Enjoy is. Enjoy your stay. Oh. Hang on a second. Uh. Thank you very much for the follow. The spin is actually really good if you get, say, a booster or something like that. Like, I took, can't, took out another car, actually, from using that. I don't know if I actually took that racer out. So if you're actually moving at, say, like, a top speed, like, bowl there. Downside is you gotta be very careful. Because if you combine the booster with the spin, and if you actually do land it head on, uh, there's a very good chance you'll actually end up, um, I don't know why I'm actually just using the joystick. I should be using the, uh, be using the LNRs. Ooh, that's where things get deadly. Like, you can actually slow yourself down with the Z-spin as well, which is actually kind of nice. Yeah, so there's my rival. I need to actually catch up. That's the other good thing. Like, it shows you, it's like, hey, this person is uh, the person in the lead. It'll always show, basically, who either is the closest place to you. Obviously, that's, you know, assuming that you're in first place. And, oh, sorry. Um, that was not my smartest idea. Not my smartest idea. Plus side, though. It gained my lives back. Alright, fine. Everything is fine. Hopefully you don't always have to stay on the track. They do give you at least a little bit of leniency. Oh, Michael Chain? Damn it. People seem to like Lil Wyvern a lot. Uh, that's part of the reason x Sword. The other half of the reason, actually, Lil Wyvern's actually a really good zero machine because it's basically like your jack-of-all-trades. It's your jack-of-all-trades, master of none. That's really what the Lil Wyvern's actually really good at. So the moment you actually... Uh, so depending how you actually use Lil Wyvern... Uh, it's very adaptive. That's the real, like, power of, um... There we go, I should get rid of you. Oh, apparently everyone's still... Get out of here, chain! Got him. No! <laughs> I'm gonna game over. I am going to game over from this. Uh, 
I need to just, I need to focus on the race. That's actually one of my problems. Like, that's my biggest problem with this game. I never spent my time memorizing the tracks, because I got too obsessed with the whole bumper car uh, mechanic. Because it was really good. And I like, you know, it's like, this is the type of racers I actually like. Um, over anything else, is because it's not just about getting first place. I'd say also in tight corners. The spin is also really good. Uh, I think I, yeah, I took out Michael Chang. Chang! Why am I using the joystick? So, okay, the reason why I'm actually constantly uh, saying that is you can actually use the L and R buttons and actually cause you to drift. So, you know, normally you can actually hold down X and you can attack. But you can also uh, hold down L and R, and that'll actually make you drift in a direction at the cost of some speed. The hard part is actually dealing with all these other racers. And never mind the fact if you hit a wall, you're basically going to be playing bumper cars. And I mean bumper cars, I mean fly off the track. A lot of these cars love to do. Especially in expert mode. You can usually go through all the other uh, the other difficulties except for master, obviously. The other two difficulties. Without so much of a problem. But <sighs> comes to going through this. A little difficult. I don't even know when to attack here, honestly. It's been way too long since I've done this course proper. I think the thing that gets me is the moment, like, the track shrinks. Or if you don't have enough grip, you'll just fly off. That chain? Yeah, it's still chain. Plus, you can see, like, your rival is for some reason. No, oh, no, he's actually in the top six now. He's a jerk. Never mind. I'm actually only surprised I've taken out. There's only one racer taken out, and that's by me. Come on, guys. No boost left. Nope. How am I doing? Well, I just got 25th place out of a race of 29. Soda showed up in the top six for once. Eh, they'll be peering once in a while. I did terrible that race, though. What did I do? I dropped nine places. Like I said, there's a reason why younger me would probably couldn't actually beat this. And when I say beat this, I mean, it was, I think it's you need to get first place if you want to get that star. Like, Tom actually did the right thing and actually built himself a custom machine and found a machine that works for him. I'd say all the F-Zero race, uh, racer uh, cars proper are actually worse than your custom builds. There goes first, there goes, sec there goes second, there goes third. I think the other thing that actually killed me a lot in this was uh, this race here. Like, I don't have any lives left, so if I die, it's game over, and we gotta start from the very beginning again. I gotta find the rival, though. Was... 
you could see basically how deadly the first couple races were. And you could end up um just launching yourself off track. Really? That's a very short track, actually. <sighs> Gotta be careful about that. Oh, I have no control over this car. Really? Shio? Is the... Alright, he's the rival. I know who the rival is. The other thing is if you actually take up another racer, one thing, it could actually backfire on you. Just simply because they'll actually um, hit you, or their bot, or their 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 racer would basically hit you. I don't know why I'm doing this. That was a bad idea. And if it hits you, out, nice boost. If it hits you, well, you're kind of toast because you actually get sent off flying as well. This is another place where I always died. What do you mean there's no game audio? Ah, oh, this capture card is driving me nuts. You know, I wish someone oh, told this capture. You know, I wish someone actually told me that. I even tested it. I was hearing audio before. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. It even showing me an OBS that's actually working. There's no reason for me not to get audio. Hang on. Hang on one second. I'm going to switch over to something real quick. Time out. See if I can actually fix it. One moment. I don't know if this will work. Something tells me usually for capture cards, you kind of just have to, uh, you basically just have to actually start, um, start it over again. Or start OBS yes, over again, which kind of sucks. Oh no, I know it's the card. Let's see. That. Let's increase the volume. Try and do test screen. The worst part was it was showing, like showing audio. Also, it doesn't help that I did just adjust the video card. No, we will probably actually die in the next race here. Enjoy the actual music. If you really actually, you know, oddly enough, if you actually do get the soundtrack for this game, I actually like it. It's actually a really solid soundtrack. Let's see, that probably put me, put me in second, actually. So take care of Twin Narita, so Goma and Shio.
You know, it's funny, I've known about how to do video editing and audio balancing and such for years. I mean, years. I never actually... I can never think of, like, what to create. Like, because the moment actually I learned that stuff, I was never able to upload stuff back when YouTube was young, because I just never had the ability to upload stuff. Um... And by that time, everything got, uh, you know, everything got settled. Another race! Oh, this is gonna be a sharp turn track, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is, it is. Sharp turn track. Goodbye, Goro. Yeah, I think what Tom always did was just, like, go straight down. And that makes sense, actually, for usually the heavyweights. Oh, right, the glass. Forgot about this. I remember what was the, really the worst part of this track. Okay, the sharp turns are actually pretty bad. Oh, screw you, Black Shadow. Screw you. End up dying on this. Oh, well, hello. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, I'm not even gonna get him. Come on, there's actually a lot of a lot of room here in this race. Turning. Look at that glide. You actually take someone out. No energy. Give me your energy! He does have a lot of walls, but a lot of tight spaces, too. I'm surprised I didn't kill anyone. Get out of here. He lies. Very careful. There we go, got extra life. I am there for no reason. Uh-oh. I uh, kind of overboosted again. Damn it, broke down. Got a lot of walls compared to the first three races. Yeah, yeah, you're right, it does, but it's also a really tight track. I'm actually surprised I don't have like I have the lowest top speed apparently out of everyone. Or acceleration out of any for everyone. I think that's why originally when I play this, I always focus on acceleration. Crash, or if you slide, well, goodbye. Oh, that sucked. I hit something. Diamond Cup is most. Yeah, but. Of course. Retire. I don't know how that happened, but we just gamed over. I said, all oh, diamonds. Diamond is always rude. In my opinion.
It's just music you fail to appreciate? Well, not all of them are good. I mean, a lot of the character songs aren't... is very hit and miss with people. I mean, Tom's able to, like, Tom actually got stupid good at this game, but then he was streaming it very consistently. I was only streaming this maybe, this is only my second day playing this game. I'm only really playing when I'm on stream. It's very difficult, actually, to get to an adept level. Like, I enjoyed games where it didn't focus so much on just simply getting first, but also the... Like, giving players something else to do aside from, uh... Aside from, uh, just simply trying to memorize a track and get first. Because of stuff like that. It's always fun to manipulate the ranking. Of course, there's a reason why they've made this single player free. Wow, I just lost a quarter of my energy. And I got greedy. They slow down the one second. There is actually a strategy in this game, like, that you could physically do that increases your speed. Which I think is a little exhausting and very risky. Especially for courses like this where there's no borders. Or very or rarely any borders. Damn it! Oh, I got him. That's the other risk though if you attack. If you attack, you can actually end up um throwing yourself off the course. You need to not do that on this course though. Plus, the other part is Lil Wyvern's not really great at dealing at, uh, top speed. Let me actually, I can actually show you why I'm not really great with top speed. Like, in playing Mario Kart or most racing games, I play characters that have good good acceleration. Good control is is good handling, good control is first and foremost. And that doesn't mean like they have good cornering or anything like that. You can have like this game you can have easily too much cornering. But then you can have uh like overall very good stats. Taking out uh Shion Goma. I will say this. Taking enemies out on your left is so much harder to do than on your right. Just only because you have to actually press X. And actually going in the left direction is very obtuse. I should not be doing this on this section of the race. Nope. Also, the reason why I was able to take out that other racer, uh, what his name was? The Skeleton. What racer that was. I always see him, Red Gazelle, Black Shadow, Shio, and Goma. Like, all those guys I always see, like, in the top six. At least in terms of consistency. Sometimes this is Arrow. Bye, Mrs. Arrow. That's how you use the Z-Spin. Like, it's a good defense mechanism, but it's also a good way to attack. Goodbye, Captain Falcon. I think the other thing is, because if you actually end up taking out more racers, the chances are you actually could be helping, like, the people who will... the AI that does consistently well. Get, don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. We're gonna get greedy. Let's be honest, we're gonna get greedy. We're gonna get greedy, we might as well be honest about it. Look at how many people have taken look at how many people have fallen off. We have ten people who are out of this race here.
can't even risk it. I don't want to risk it. I could take out Shio and Goma, and that would actually probably be the best, one of the best things I could do. Jerks! Just trying to survive this race now. Sorry, this is concentration mode now. Go! We're racing in for Sonic Riders and Kirby Air Ride. Oof. Not exactly my favorite. Not exactly my favorite. The Skull is an F-Max Grand Prix champion resurrected by Black Magic to compete again. Bruh. Now was it Super Arrow, Super Hero, Beast Man, of course there's so many other... I find it funny that you have some a character like Beast Man, and there's actual, like, full-on animals and stuff. What is it, Leon? Um, I remember well. Disqualified, disqualified, yeah, Leon, there he is. Uh, he actually comes from a war-torn planet and trying to win money, basically, to, uh, to save his planet. And to stop people from a life of, uh, a life of constant war. Like, Sonic and Racing Transformed was actually a fun kart racer. I think the other reason why I liked Acceleration is that if you had a higher Acceleration, than your opponent, you could very easily... by these guys. Um... You could very easily... take out your, uh... Sorry, I had to say. You could easily take out your opponent right before... right as the race starts. And that's one thing I... Ooh, I believe I actually haven't survived that. That's one thing I actually really, really liked. How did he, how did any of these people live? How did I live? How did Shio and Goma live? How do I have four people dead already? I think you're right though, it seems like top speed is actually probably the best for Diamond, because just the path of least resistance instead of getting stuck in the middle of the pack. Unless I can't turn with a damn. Oh well, we'll take out Shio and Goma. Uh, we're good. I'd like to think I'm a lot bloodier than Tom Fox when it comes to playing this game. Just because I've played this game for years. I've played this game since I was actually a kid, and that's why I learned, hey, you don't actually have to be good at this racing. But let's try and get good at... Oh my goodness. Control there, and I'm in last place. Great. Last place because of that. Oop, I need that. I just need to survive. That's oh, well, survive and get a good place. I guess that would be another factor. And I accidentally took someone else out. I should not be doing this! Seventh place, that's fine. You're your uh, worst enemy. Just race clean. 
don't want to race clean. I want to destroy everyone. I'm a dirty racer, what can I say? Terrible, terrible human. How did I could have taken out Baba, apparently? Could have taken out Baba. Check out chains. I think I just have, like I said, I'm my. Uh, you're right. I am my own worst enemy when it comes to racing in this game because I don't like racing clean. I like being dirty. Really got to learn to pull back on the last second there. Let the other racers deal themselves out. Unless that happens. Or that happens. Ah, oh, damn it. The first and last Mario Kart, you play this double dash. You can guess why I've not touched it recently. Ah, oh, there's a wide variety of reasons why you might not be able to touch it. I mean, Mario Kart Wii wasn't that bad, honestly. She's pretty good. I enjoyed playing uh, Mario Kart Wii. Oddly enough, yes, even with the motion controls. Like, give me this little gimmicky spinning wheel. Uh, wheel. Don't even want to know how I survived that. And, uh, don't know how I botched that either. I gotta stop taking that ramp. You know, I better know why. It's because I'm trying to go at top speed and I lose my top speed the moment on this track. Dad. I don't know who I took out, but I took out someone. Falcon, that's you. Baba! Get out of here, Baba! I don't want you on this track anymore, buddy. Oh my goodness. I. Well, that is the wave bird, actually. I don't think I have control of the wave bird anymore. I think it actually... The downside of, of living in wireless technology, in an age of wireless technology, everything is wireless and causes interference for everything else. And that is literally what just happened there. I had no control. That was the one that was that would have been the that was the best race too because I took out my rival. I'd like I thought I would like this course. I just got went rammed. Approximately enough, I actually lived. Ah, oh, I hate that when that happens. Like I lose all my speed. Like I'm actually landing flat on the course, and I still lose all of my speed. One hit away. 
got some energy. Very generous donator. all my energy so quickly. I got hit from behind. Well, I'm not getting this one, that's for certain. Oh, I'm having a Baba, though. I don't want to be behind. Oh, I'm not worried about batteries. It's more of just simply having so many wireless devices. I mean, everything you see around you is honestly more likely wireless now instead of wired. Well, at least I'm, yeah, Baba fell off. Or at least he fell behind. Well, I'd rather get the Dragon Slope. We got to check that. Take out another racer without even trying. Yeah, I don't know why, like, I keep losing my speed there. That's really weird. You know, if we're just going to be surrounded by everyone, why, might as well just spin. Alright, Leon. Gotta get going. You know, out of all characters, I thought I would have actually played Leon, because I actually liked his backstory and such, but then I tried his actual F-0 racer. It was terrible! I did not enjoy using that racer one bit. Oh, it's Shio and Doma again. Of course it is. I, should, I really should try and actually focus on taking them out. At least we got an extra life just getting all that. You'll never stop me from playing dirty. You'll never stop me from racing dirty. I'm just that terrible of a person. I'm sorry. I know you expected more from me, but you get what you get. I think this is where I actually have the problem with the whole, like, uh... Like downward turn. Bye! My rival is right now, and I've gotta get up there. If I wouldn't, if I could stop getting bounced around. And also bouncing myself around. <laughs> if you want the ultra pro strategy for dragon slopes, you should dive down like you usually do, but level out before you hit the ground.
You can do some hilariously violent stuff to the racers. Interesting. Yeah, but I think, like, Sonic Riders kind of subscribes more to the, uh... Mario Kart philosophy, though, from what I understand. I think the other, like, the thing that actually makes this also a really good racer is that it doesn't subscribe to that. Because if you get yourself, like, uh, so fo- Did I miss that? I missed the boost pad. Oh, I didn't kill him. That was a Z spin. I think I took out Jack Lemon. that the whole aim down and then try and level out. I'm not, I'm not getting that right. I see what you're saying, but the hard part is the leveling out part. And I'm in last place because of that. I'm not good at that apparently. See, I usually just like coast. I know it sounds terrible, but I actually do. I just coast. I'm very disappointed in myself on how many kills I have or actually don't have. No, that's not. That's a strategy that's not working for me. I'm sorry, man. I know that's supposed to be, like, the pro strat, but I'm not a pro. That's my problem. That's definitely a personal problem. I don't remember how much I've actually this away. Couldn't catch my rival, that's a problem. Yeah, I know what you're yeah, I know what you're saying. You're talking about snaking. I know about that, but that's physically hard to do. Like there's a reason why I'm not into fighting games or anything like that, is because of stuff like that. I'm not good at snaking either. Like, I enjoyed games like, uh, Extreme G and this, because it wasn't just putting up a good race, but it was also really good. Oh, turning! Okay, no, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know about, uh, quick turning and stuff. You don't really use it that much in this, though. I think I killed my rival already. I, I don't remember this course at all, which is dumb because I watched Tom Fox stream this too. I should know this course. Alright, the glass.
Yep, nope. He's already taken care of, actually. All bad at this. Such a terrible person. There. Damn it, chains. Hate that. I always end up botching that. I'm terrible at this course. Like I said I if you don't like you had to memorize a lot of these courses. Effort here. Actually, stop. How did that not kill him? Yep, nope, had a feeling I was gonna die. Thank you, would be rapidly alternating left, uh, left plus L, and yep. Rival, Shio and Goma, are still alive. How did that not kill anyone? Very disappointed. Focus on racing. Downside of Little Wyvern, the moment you start bouncing around, you just can't stop. How am I not? Focus on racing and get energy when you can. That's what I need to do. Really hate this course. Worst part is... Yep. The original Riders is the one with the boost that runs off a consumable gauge. Interesting. This is the part I always get screwed up on. And I don't like backing out the camera either, because I, I do worse with it for some reason. And I think that's the reason why I like acceleration as well, because I'm prone to be in these situations. Oh well, this is a problem. We don't even have anyone knocked out. As long as I can take out the rival, that's what matters. Stabilize. That is not my rival. I hate the sliding in this game. I don't know why I keep end up sliding. Yeah, Hope the other two will fall off, but I doubt that. 
Don't even know how that happened. Alrighty. The AI has very precise uh, turning the humans can Yeah, and the moment they touch your car, you get out of balance. And that's a, this is even Master. Like, Master is even worse. I remember trying Master. That's a rough one. Come on. I like how, like, you could see my engines just putter out at random. Oh, I got Shio and Goma. Plus, well, I can actually get a decent place and take out Michael Chain. <gasps> of course. Never mind. Nope, we're not even gonna win this. Like I said, there's a reason why I couldn't beat this. I think Tom went like with a heavyweight cart too. I, think I took out the rival already. Take them out. This, that's what kills me every time. I hate how tiny that lane is. Oh no, I did take care of Shio and Goma. Shame it's alive. I need to stop boosting so much, honestly. I know that's counterintuitive, but... I keep losing everything. <sighs> we need to start using the yellow and R buttons more. That's my other problem. I don't use them enough. Get ahead of Michael Chains. If I don't do that, I'm gonna lose this race. I have no energy because of that. And I'm sliding again. I keep making that same mistake. Turn properly. I don't think I'm gonna win this, I'm not. Your favorite part of writing aside from the boosting is being able to set up and execute some tricks. Yeah, a lot of people liked it because it just reminded them of like uh, Tony Hawk and you could just do all your racing and such. Nope, actually I still won. Barely, but still won. Barely. I can't believe I barely won that. I shouldn't have won that, honestly. Well, that only took an hour and a half to actually do. Look at this abysmal kill counts. It's sickening. I was getting like nines and tens last night. Zero gravity, they change the jumps to be tiny based. That doesn't, honestly, that doesn't sound fun. I mean, it sounded the concept sounded interesting, but I'll be honest, I was not a huge fan of uh, Kirby's Air Ride and such. That was just not enjoyable to me. I mean, the whole holding down A was the other part. I 
completely forgot they show all the other racers. Having to clap for you on the Nintendo GameCube sign. Like I said, I really wish they made something like this again. And not just another Mario Kart. Especially in this day and age, we could have more online play. Although I think you would not... Although I think the downside is you wouldn't be able to just disqualify the players. Now I'd like to get up close and personal with the champion. Champion, I'd like to interview you. Do you ever want to quit? I don't think I've never actually gotten this one because it's actually in white. Do you ever feel like pulling out when the race gets dangerous? My machine has no reverse gear. The only way out is the finish line. Thanks for your words of enthusiasm, champion. And that's all for Adrenaline Driven F-Zero TV. That's it, everyone. We'll see you at the next Grand Prix. Yeah, I never got that, actually, because I never obviously beat this on, um, on Expert. Zero TV. Thanks for playing. 42 tickets. Uh, new parts, the Brave Eagle, the Wonder Worm, you're a zero one. And I think if you want to actually unlock the arcade courses, you have to beat this on, um, you have to beat everything on Master. Which, why not? It's a fun cutscene. By the Brave Eagle. Wonder Worm. Yeah, some more they're pink. That's interesting. Usually the default is green. Like I said, I never really did any fiddling around until actually last night's stream, because I could finally actually afford all the parts. Because I went through all the races on Expert. Well, obviously, except for uh except for Diamond there. So why not try Ruby? Let's see how bad we get our butt whooped in master class. Yeah, but I did learn if you actually want to get all the racing parts, though, you have to actually go through the, the story mode on hard mode. Ugh, that is just mean. The story mode in this game is brutal. It's probably the most difficult thing you'll ever act- one of the most difficult things you'll ever actually play when it comes to a racing game. Only the slide will do a. Uh... Only the slide will do an instant. Uh, instant uh, side attack will do an instant kill. I oh, forgot everyone just starts boosting like crazy on this one. the staff ghosts are harder. Oh no, I wouldn't even want to think about fighting the staff ghosts. Yeah, the story the story mode enough, just on normal mode, is a challenge in and of itself. But actually going up against the um the ghosts. Oof. That just that would just be brutal. I think the only thing annoying about unlocking the story mode was that they didn't give you enough to keep going into the next chapter. That was the only part that actually sucked. And it really disturbed the rhythm. 
of actually enjoying the uh, enjoying the game. Well, there was my well, there was one person who was actually uh, better than me, but let's actually catch up here. That's a lucky transition. I didn't just bounce into the uh, into the wall. Goodbye, Beastman. Probably didn't wrong me or anything like that, but... Ah, oh, damn it! I knew I was gonna... I knew I was gonna happen. Second time in a row. I have no energy. Oh my god, these guys are so far ahead. Do I actually need to pick a top speed F-Zero racer? It feels like I do. I do. Holy crap. Yeah, no, having to actually collect it really sucked. Oh, I dropped. Yep, I dropped four places. It's Gomar and Ch It's always those two. I always get like a high placement. And now I can just enjoy the V Cup and get hit by my get hit by the very racer I took out. Oh, I actually do the LNR turn. attack as we turn left. This is... See, I always end up, like, over-correcting. That's my other issue when it comes to this. I always end up overcorrecting. And I used to know how to like take each of the turns, but not anymore. Yeah. I guess I got a one up. I love how I'm taking out everyone else but my rival. I think my rival actually is uh, Jody. It is Jody, actually. That is the white cat. Just got a closer look at it. How do I even get into 16th place? Oh, crap. I have no health. If you want a fast machine, you see this a hyperspeeder. See, like I know the best, the best mobiles are actually the custom racers, but I don't actually have the, I guess, really good parts. Which you can get from getting in hard mode, or at least the really more unique machines. You can get some decent ones, honestly, just from beating, uh, just from playing through the story mode and going through all the courses proper. Yeah, I need to, I need to learn how to turn sharper there.
Goodbye, Black Shadow. I'll never play clean. Plus, I can actually use the lies to mean terrible. Damn it, one key. Quick. What is this, Beetlejuice? Talking about sandworms. the sliding anymore in this. Got one more boost, unfortunately. You know, after all these years, I've never actually even read Dune. I remember I used to, I played the game Dune, like, once, but I can honestly hardly remember it. I'm in fifth? Well, I got up three faces. What I need to do is disqualify, uh, the twins. That's what I need to do. But you're right, though. It seems like if you want to even have a chance of beating, um... Try beating this on Master, you yeah, gotta get top speed machines. I mean, it doesn't need to be a heavyweight, but... Really? Rude. Plus, also, when the other cards hit you, it kind of just destroys your flow. I didn't even hit him! Someone blocked it for me. <sighs> no, you're... That was actually the one time I could've done a, uh, a spin. I'm being hit from behind from all the racers. I should feel special. Damn it. I think I just got... No, I think I did that to myself, actually, when I ran into another player. I'm losing control way too quickly. I lose control way too quickly. When, like, the moment you start sliding. But anytime, like, a game says, like, this is the one that has the best handling, I'll usually default to that. Also, when you just run into everyone else. Yeah, 
There, got him. That's honestly, if you're really the actually smart, Captain Falcon. We didn't expect him to be the rival. Well, you realize they do need to actually take out all the higher place characters. Assuming I could actually race this course on Master. Because holy crap, I am doing a terrible job at it. I just got, I just got attacked by the spin. Terrible. I'm gonna break down here. Because of that. Life at least. Impressive in all death. I aim to please. I aim to please when it comes to magnificent deaths. It's, you know, the funny part is if you actually do break down. I, not, well, I do Captain Falcon at least. If you break down and you actually go across the finish line, it actually counts as a victory. And I went down five places because of that. Man, Master does not pull punches. Master does not pull punches. I think that's the other thing I appreciate is that this is actually a difficult racing game. Like, there's no like, okay, play this, you know, memorize the course, you know, then you'll do well. There's a lot of execution that you have to do. Like, aside from just constantly summoning blue sparks. Yeah, I don't think the, uh... Wyvern actually is probably the best suit for retirement. This is it at its top speed, and it's actually not doing well. What? Ah, oh, I thought I was hitting the ramp. Leon, you're killing me here, buddy. I don't even think a clean race will actually get me, um... Will actually get me a good placement. Or in, like, the top three. That's why I think the custom machines are actually probably the best. And I know I'm racing super sloppy. And I got, and I got bumped from behind.
Which is interesting, actually, because Little Wyvern, although it's a medium weight, it really has actually a really great booster. It actually has really good stats, surprisingly enough. Energy back, we got the four racers. Trying to actually get first in this race. Probably shouldn't have done that. Even for Ruby, this is no joke. Kinda wish why I'd like to know why I always lose speed there. I know it's an awkward transition. Slide. Hate how I get rammed from behind. Yeah, I need better boosters. That is literally what I need. Because there's no way I'm gonna be able to win with Little Wyvern anymore in Master. I need to just make my own racer. But I hate how they control, they're honestly so slippery. 10th place, wow. Like I said, though, that's actually the good thing about this game, though, is that once you get to Master, it's hard. I think the one thing with Mario Kart, I know people are acclimated to the 200cc uh, for that speed, but I feel like it went too fast, oddly enough, for the, for the scaling of the courses. I at least got 20 tickets for that. I know a lot of people, if they find themselves in a losing situation, like if it's not top three, they'll stop, but honestly, it's still worth your time to actually even just get the tickets. I mean, how many you can actually stockpile up to? And stockpile up to, what is it? Uh, oops, that's the wrong one. Yeah, you can. over 999,000. Yeah, that, that's more than enough. Or not 900, uh, 90,000. Let's begin a music, actually. So I think I'm gonna end it here. But before I go, I want to actually play a couple, a little bit of the music here, since you guys are talking about the music. And... Some actually, I don't have any characters unlocked, but some of them just have really good music. This is one buff girl. I'm surprised she's not the superhero.
That is actually... That's the same stats, but lighter for uh, Little Wyvern. King and Queen. But no, I highly recommend actually just checking out the soundtrack, because it actually is really good. I think Leon was a, like a hard rock. Yeah, he just wanted to save the children of Zoe from poverty. Like I said, this is I didn't even like his ship. Night is a super lightweight vehicle, and yet at the same time, I don't know why, but every time I tried it, it handled horribly. But of course, there's Captain Falcons. Like I said, the music is corny, but it's also just oddly enjoyable to listen to. I highly recommend it. But, that's gonna do it for me tonight. Let me take a look and see who else is streaming right now. It's actually... Oh, thank goodness, they're actually still streaming. Um, but, of course, I wouldn't be. I'd like to give a rundown here. So, there's actually only one, other, one group of people who are actually uh, streaming right now is Yacht Club Games. If you've never heard of them, they're actually the developers for Shovel Knight, and it looks like they're actually playing Mario Party. They've actually done a lot of streams showing the progress of uh, their development of their games and such, so if you ever want to take a moment and actually physically talk to the artists or developers and such, you know, you definitely give Yacht Club Games a follow. They're actually one of the more active streamers when it comes to uh, game developers. But the other person I'm basically going to uh, send you guys on over to is Smite. That's S-M-I-G-H-T. He's actually playing through Legend of Zelda, the, uh, the Adventure of Link, Blind. So please don't spoil it for him. He's probably actually a good way through the game by now. Uh, but you never know. It is Legend of Zelda 2. I like the game. I know a lot of people hate the game. But I personally like it, I enjoy it, and Smite also does a really great job of hosting a game show. And also, it's his, it's actually should be his birthday, so, if anything, don't wish him a happy birthday. That's gonna do it for me tonight. Tomorrow, I don't know what I've planned for tomorrow, but as always, you can always check out my events. And if you always want to give a suggestion for games you want to see me stream, or a game you want me to beat, uh, you can go to that extension, you can scroll down and go to the extension uh, panel there and give a suggestion. Until then, then, until then, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy your Friday. And as always, until then, take care.